there are some passages or some topics how Christ has in there of our lives and then these are the topics being discussed and uh, this week it will be a chance to remind ourselves of why the great reformers were willing to be branded heretics of the biblical understanding we sought to share. So, and uh, we Christians have partaken in some type of food washing ceremony. So, and it is most widely known to be held as a feature of uh, on the first services, no? during the, uh, the time before Christ uh, was crucified. So it exists in all churches and then it is a ritual of humility that helps to place Christians that are afflicted by living in a world of sin. So the question where did it come from? Now in the Gospel of John there is a story of Jesus washing his, of his disciples' feet at the last Supper. So, makita niyo ang sinari, no? That uh, it is mentioned in John 13, verses 1 to 17. Jesus said that uh, uh, Jesus performing this act, especially in these verses, He instructs them, or the, the disciples, and said, If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he is set greater than he who sent me. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do it So we are reminded by Jesus Christ. Uh, he repeatedly said that a, must, uh, a servant is not uh, about his master or a teacher. Uh, is not... Okay, the teacher said, or ang, ang magtutuglo, dili na, uh, I mean, ang estudyante dili na po sa magtutuglo. So, then I mention to Jesus Christ, because most of the time, kung mag-iskod na paghugas of the air, mo ko rin, ah, ah, in fact, by all from Genesis to Revelation, you will notice that this is very, ah, somewhat ka lang matagot na ito, either critical or medyo controversial, no? Because literally, kiling, Kung sa inyo gari, if you are a professional, if you are a doctor, if you are an engineer, if you are somebody, if uh, I believe that in your house you cannot uh, wash your dishes or uh, because you have namo yung mga servant, no? O insulto ka yung uh, abogado ka o katurnik ka, pagkugaso ka ng plato. But Jesus Christ in this illustration, that uh, following the customs at the time, it was not necessary for Jesus to clean the disciples' feet because he would have already been washed by a servant when they entered the upper room. Inaman siya yung mga walito, mga waiter or waitress, or mga servant. So this was a strange time for the disciples because they had been arguing over who was the greatest among them while waiting for Jesus' arrival. So we were more on official sila. So most of them thinking that they are Mas labaw ko sa inyo ha, kaya ako mo ay pigit ni Jesus Christ. So during that time, na, na na sila kitawag rivalry, no? kung hindi sa yung suot nila ni Jesus Christ. So parang sila ay remember na kung daghan mo gali ang nga nagpuyo sa sa gano'n ka, uh, mag-ilong mo kung hindi sa manghugas ang plato, mag-ilong o hindi hanggang ang plato hindi manghugasan. Because daghan mo, uh, mag tulad man kung hindi sa manghugas. But at this time, instead of giving to each other, they were comparing and competing. No? Like, what's it Kung it's a new house, it's a Now, when Jesus stepped in to wash their feet, all the disciples were stuck into silence. So, what's it like? Kaya puro po sila ang Christian. Kaya ang ilang thing, kaya nga mas labaw ko, kaya ako ang man, department head, or ako ang kanang mas taas-taas o kanang pinag-aralan. But they were amazed when Jesus Christ was a man. Was their faith. Peter was profoundly against the Lord, washing his feet. To which Jesus responded, responded Unless I wash you, I wash you, you have to part with me. So you notice that among the disciples, it was Peter being in passage, and he is, I think, the president of the small group no? among the 12 disciples. Siya ang pinakaawal. But during that time, he was the one reacted 
world and to emulate Jesus and everything we do. So this is the only reason why we have this ceremony. Nga, the moment that we have this uh, very important event, especially the communion service and the food washing, is the purpose, the main purpose is pleasing us in a sinner's world and to emulate Jesus in everything we do. So, as we will be having this uh, ceremony, ang atong mga deacon, sa mga deaconess, maybe ang ilang uh, na ay mga plangana o uh, tawin na nandito. And then, mga, if, uh, para sa mga bana o kasawa, may usually nga partner. And then, katong lalaki, lalaki lang ang pares, katong mga kuhan. Ino na ito, if you have some mga branches, that this will be the time na uh, you can pray together and we have this uh, very special activity as a uh, symbol of humility. So, we may now go to the park and then uh, kuhaman ito ang atong mga mangana.